Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. I am working on these signs from Dollar Tree. Um, I told you guys I would share with you when I got them painted. They come just like this plain wood. Um, and I kind of want to show you guys how I painted them and kind of tell you how I painted them here. You know, different things that I did, like with the little um, wings and stuff on the bird. And just, you know, kind of show you how I blend some of these colors together. And I want to add a little bit more to these, too. So I thought these would be fun. Um, it's super cold outside today. So when these get all done, I actually want to take these outside and cover them with a clear coat. I have two different kinds here. I have this triple thick crystal clear glaze, um, this Krylon brand that I sometimes seal these with. Or if you don't want them to be super shiny, you can use the um, matte sealer. It's a chalky finish and this, this one's clear. So totally up to you whether you want them to be shiny or not shiny. <clears throat> so anyway, this one I just painted with some of this. Um, this is matte acrylic paint. It's Kelly Green Apple Barrel Paint. Um, that's what I painted this whole background in. And then I decided I wanted to do something just to kind of make it stand out a little more. So I just took this little tool here from Dollar Tree, this little uh, embossing tool. It has a two different size little balls on each end here. And I used the bigger one for this. And all you do for this is just put some of your paint in a dish and just tap it in there and then make dots and then just keep tapping along wherever you want to dot. It's that simple. Um, I didn't want to paint these on camera because you would have been here for a couple days because I have three of these here that I painted. And it did take me quite a little bit of time. Now on this one here on the little watering can, if you were lucky enough to find these little um, wooden pieces, you get 45 pieces in here. These are from Dollar Tree. These are the little, um, I'll show you the number there if anybody wants to try to find these. I haven't seen them since they first came out. They came and they went really fast, but you know, they things come and come back in at Dollar Tree too. So hopefully, you know, they will. And this one's all different kinds of butterflies. It has a couple flowers and leaves in here. But I just took one of these little butterflies here and just painted them all different multicolored whatever to kind of match my other signs. I'm trying to keep these all in the same you know, variety of paints here. So this little guy, I'm just going to take, I think I'm going to take some of this um, Dollar Tree super glue wood glue that they have. You can find this in the um, by the automotive department and the hardware department at Dollar Tree. And just add a little bit of this wood glue to this because this stuff works great. I love this wood glue. And this one, I can't get it out. It's clogged. Oh, here it comes. All right. So you don't need a lot. This stuff holds like crazy. So I'm just going to put a few dots of that glue on there really don't want it to stick up out of these holes um, and I think that'll hold this on here just fine I just kind of want him right on there like that so now I've got a cute little butterfly in here and then um, Dollar Tree also has the um, little ladybugs and bees I dumped them in a little baggie here because you know they come in those annoying little crinkly plastic bags once you open them they're pretty much done so I thought it would be cute to put maybe a bee on here and a ladybug um, <clears throat> not quite sure if I want them both on here definitely want one or the other I think that might be too close to the birdie or maybe I don't know where I want him so maybe I won't even put that on here I don't know or maybe I'll put the ladybug and not the bee nope like the bee better <laughs> So I think I'm going to put this little bee on here. And we may add the ladybug too. Why not? It might look cute over here. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's add the ladybug too. Just because they're so darn cute. I forget how many come in a pack. I don't have the package for them anymore. But you get quite a few in there. And these I'm just going to hot glue this on here. Um, it has that little sticker on the back. But I usually peel those off just because sometimes they just don't stick as good and then I'm just going to spray right over top of all of these um, I don't know one of these days this week it's supposed to get warmer and sunnier right now there's no sun it's really I mean sometimes I'll paint when it's cold outside I'll just paint it real quick and then bring it in the house but it is so windy out that <laughs> I don't even know if any of the spray paint would actually go on the sign all right these usually pop right off of here easy okay there we go so I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to this little bee here. And then we are going to stick him up on this end. There we go. And I think that looks cute. 
love it. These signs are so cute. Um, took me a long time to figure out exactly how I wanted to paint them because I wanted, like I said, I want to keep all these signs I had kind of in the same family of colors and things, you know, because they're all going to be to pretty much together except for the one I think I'm going to keep in here because I really like it. All right, so that is what I'm doing for the garden one here. Now this one here, whoops, stand up here and look pretty. There you go. This one here says welcome. Um, and again, it comes just plain wood when you get it from Dollar Tree. And I love this one. It has this little plant here on there. And then the L is like a rain boot or a, yeah, it's more like a rain boot. Um, and then it has a little pitchfork on there. And yeah, so I just painted this one with that same green. And then I went in with some of this, um, what is this lime, limeade green? It's called apple barrel paint. And, uh, while the things are still wet, I, I add the different colors. And I'll show you that here. When I get to the next one, I, I have a leaf here that I can show you guys how I kind of blend these colors. It's really easy, and you can just keep blending and mixing until you figure out how you want it. And if it doesn't work out, we'll just paint over it and start over. It's really simple. Now, on here, I used that little embossing tool, and I just dipped it in the paint and painted this with the yellow and black dots. I used actually used the smaller side for the black dots and then the bigger side of the embossing tool for the yellow dots. And then I outlined this one actually with a Sharpie. Now when you use a Sharpie, and if you're going to coat it with a spray paint, there is a trick to it. Um, let me take this tag off. Because if you go in and spray like a heavy coat of spray paint on here, um, usually like Magic Marker will start to run. But I use this all the time and it works just fine if you just take your spray paint, just go over it one time really fast, let that dry, and then you can put another good coat on there and then that way you won't make your marker run. So I've had really good luck with that. Um, you could test it out on a different piece of wood if you want first, you know, in case you don't want to worry about ruining your thing. But I just put those little stitch marks on there with one of those ultra fine tip black Sharpies just to make those letters stand out a little bit. And then I also made a line across the, the flower pot there just to make it stand out a little bit more. And of course on this little guy, I don't know if I want to add too much more. This one's got quite a lot going on on this one. I may just add a ladybug to this flower pot down here, or the bee. I'm going to see which one I like better on here. We got the ladybug, or we got the bee. I like the bee. I'm a big fan of the bee. But you know what? Since we have the thing way over here, maybe I will put another ladybug over here. I don't know. Why not? It's up to you guys whether you want it or not. I think I'm not. I, I keep changing my mind. I do that a lot. <laughs> But yeah, I think no ladybug, just the bee on this one. I'm going to put this one right on that flower pot. These did take me quite a while to paint. I kind of came in and painted a little bit of it and then, you know, went and did something else for a little while while it, that part dried and then came back to it again. So it did take me a few days actually to get these painted because, you know, I just didn't sit here and do them all at one time. But there you go. We have our little bee on the flower pot. And these signs are just so darn cute. All right, so we have that sign there. And then this last one is my favorite. This one actually had um, this nice long jute, street ha jute string hanger on it. But I took this one off, and I'm not sure if I want it back on yet. And that is this flower pot. And again, it was just this plain wood and it has you know these raised pieces on here which I love that they did that this year because um, when it's all flat and stuff it just doesn't look as pretty and this one says life is beautiful and then I just painted the flowers a whole bunch of different colors I just threw in there and the little berries the little berries all I did with those is I painted them red and just with a small brush I used some white and just made like a, a little comma on there just to highlight them a little bit and then of course I did the two shades in the leaves here same thing that I did with these flowers um, while the paint was still wet I just went in with the different colors and just added them in there and now this I painted actually with this um, this is folk art metallic this one's called sterling silver so I gave the flower pot uh, two coats of the sterling silver because the one coat just it just looked gray. So I went over it with another coat and then I kind of wanted to make it look 
you know, a little weathered looking, so I did take my favorite thing to use, and that is the Tim Holtz Distressing Ink. This is Vintage Photo. You can get this at Michael's Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you can get this at Walmart. I've never looked, honestly. Um, but I love this Distressing Ink, and I just took a stiff brush and just dip it into that ink, and then I just went around these different places. I added some of the ink in here, and before it dries, you can rub it off if it looks a little bit too dark. But I think that looks really cool with a little bit of uh, texture to it. So let's see. What did I want? I don't know if I really want to do much on this one either. I might put a ladybug over that hole because I don't think I'm going to hang this back up. I think I want to use this in my backdrop here with, that I decorate for um, spring and summer. I think that'll look so pretty just standing. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I think I am just going to add a ladybug and cover up that hole. And then I will show you guys how I painted those leaves and things. Ugh. There we go. Get that off of there. Yeah, that's a good idea. I was thinking about putting maybe a jute bow on there. But I think this will work better. And there you go. The hole is gone. And he just wants to get down to that little flower. So there. I don't think I need to do anything else to this. I think this is just fine the way it is. And I think that will look really pretty up on my shelf. But let me show you here. Um, I have some of these little wood picks that they had at Dollar Tree. These are just leaves here. So I figured I could show you guys how I did my leaves and my flowers. You know, the technique that I used. Or if you have your own, you know, whatever. I just mess around with things until I like the way it looks. No <laughs> rhyme or reason usually. Alright, so here's my green. Let me grab a little tray here. Um, so I just take a little bit of this... Let me move this out of the way before I end up painting over top of it. You stay up there out of the way. There we go. Take a little drop of this Kelly Green. Is that what that was? Yes. And some of this Limeade. It's a really pretty color. It's not like really like a fluorescent, but it's really, really pretty. Um, and then just I just blocked all my brushes. You come over here now. Let's see. What do I want to use to paint that? Um... Most of my brushes are drying. I used so many brushes when I was doing this. Uh, yeah, but, oh, this one's not a very good brush. Let me trim the tip of this brush off. It has a lot of scraggly ends. There, that looks better. All right, so this is what I did pretty much with the leaves and the flowers is I would just go in, I paint it this pretty Kelly green, and I'm going to paint this whole thing in this Kelly green, but I figured I'd show you just here how easy this is just to kind of blend these two colors together. So then I just take the same brush and dip it in some of this here and then depending on how you how much you want on here um, to blend in, I usually put a little bit down the center. This brush is a little too wide for this. Um, a little bit on the sides and then just keep blending it in however you would want this to look. I think I want it a little bit lighter on the edge here. But that is it. I just kind of blend these in here. And then if that's a little too light, then you can just go back over it and just keep messing with it until you get it to the colors that you want. But that is how I did all those leaves. And it just gives it a little extra dimension. This is a little bit too light. I may back, go back over this with a little bit more green. Um, like I said, you can just keep adding to it, taking some of that color away. If you wanted a little more of the darker green. So yeah, that is how I did that. That's how I did the flowers. I just painted like the purple and then I went in over it with just a little bit of white a little at a time to blend that in. Pretty much all the same way. It's really easy and I mean you could just play around with it. So actually on this part I may actually just paint like this part here, this dark Kelly green and then just maybe highlight that top piece. That might be pretty cool too. So let's see how that looks real quick. And the fun part about it is you don't have to wait for it to dry. So then I like to wipe some of that off on a paper towel or something. And then we'll just go back in with some of this. I don't want too much on here. And just highlight this center part of this leaf. Just add a few little... There we go. I think that'll look really cute. And then you can wipe most of that off and then blend it in a little bit better. 
and there you go and I think that is how I will paint this whole stock of leaves here I don't know what I'm using all these things for yet but I wanted to get them painted because they are very time consuming so I'm gonna get finished painting this one up I'm just gonna do the same thing to this and then I have this tulip here and this you can kind of do the same thing with these tulips let me get some different color here <clears throat> um, I don't know let's do a purple tulip why not so if we wanted to do purple and then add a little bit of white to our tulip or tulip <laughs> believe me I am no expert painter it's like trial and error for me is how I paint so that is pretty much how that goes so we're just going to take this one in this purple. I love this purple. What color did I say that was or did I not say what it was? I did not. It's Grape Taffy. And this is um, Michael's brand, the Craft Smart brand. I love that color. But whatever you have, you mix and match and do whatever. And then you can go in and you can add a little bit of this white to the outside here and I'm gonna kind of want I kind of want this to come out like this way instead of going straight down or anything I think that'll make that look pretty you know how tulips sometimes have those really pretty edges onto them and I think that'll look really nice and I'll just add a few little in here not too much but I think that will look really nice and then if you don't want it quite so bright you can just go back in there and kind of Wipe your brush off and fade it out a little bit more like this. It's really easy. And then that's more of a more of a subtle. That's a little too subtle on this side. Um, yeah, just a little bit of color. And then, you know, you're going to go back in and paint the rest of this little baby up and I think that'll look really pretty. I want to get the edges on this and I'll probably do the backs of these too. The signs I didn't do the backs of them because I'm either going to use them on a wreath or something. Um, but these are pretty. I wish I had more of these. I think I only got one of these tulips and that was all I found. I'm hoping that they'll get some more in when they get more of the spring and summer stuff out. Um, because I'd like to paint up a bunch of these in different colors. So fingers crossed that I'll find some more of them. But like I said, this takes quite a long time. That's why I wanted to get most of the painting on those things done first. So I could just kind of show you the little different techniques that I use myself. And I just went right across that little stinker. There we go. But yeah. All right, so while that is still wet, I want to go in with my white. And I'll just splash that around here on this side. And I'll splash some around on this side. Oh, that's too much. but I think that'll be really pretty. I think I may add a little bit more white to that center one because I'm really liking it with more of a pop of the white. Oops, I'm getting out of the camera here. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it. Just keep messing around with it until you have what you want. Yeah, I definitely want this a little bit brighter in here. Tulips, man, they such pretty colored tulips. My daffodils are all blooming out there. They've been trying to bloom since the middle of February. They don't know what's going on with this crazy weather. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave that a little bit more of the white in there. But that's it. That's how I'm painting my little tulip. And there you go. Like I said, any colors you want. Um, I may find some leaves too that'll match this to add to it, but I definitely, definitely want to find some more of these. So I'm going to finish painting this little guy up later. I'm just going to put these away because, like I said, I'm not even sure what I'm doing with all this stuff yet, but 
I wanted to get them painted up here to show you guys. So that one I definitely know is going on my shelf. This one may end up on a wreath, I'm thinking. And I'm really happy that they put the the um, strings, they just stapled them on the back instead of drilling a hole through it. So if you want to take that off and maybe add like, I don't know, this is going to probably, probably go on a wreath, I'm thinking. But this one may actually go into like a flower, one of my big flower pots. And I might just take a couple of, of the dowels that you can get at Dollar Tree in a pack and just hot glue them like right on here so I can just kind of stick it down in one of my big flower pots. So I'm leaving them as is for now because like I said, I'm still undecided. But I wanted to get them painted so I'm ready to go because you know what? It's spring. <laughs> it is here right at our doors right now so anyway i hope you enjoyed this little video um like i said when i got these i promised you guys i would show you how i was painting them up and um i will see you guys all next time have a great day everyone